Hello, I'm David M. Now I'm going to talk about what I learned in the summer class at PolyU. It's a ribbon hammer test to test the strength of concrete. It's a cover meter inspection is used to track the position of steel which breaking on the concrete. It's a half potential test, it tests the corrosion of steel. It's a infrared thermographic surface. After the lesson, we went to the laboratory and do the task. Yes, infrared thermographic surface, and then we did the ribbon hammer test. Before testing, we ensure that the ribbon hammer can get the accurate result. We draw the grid and use twelve. Intercept spawn to do the test and get a range ribbon number that can find concrete string. The result of ribbon hammer test. Firstly, we did the half cell potential test. Our tutor teach us how to use the equipment. The one meter shows the potential difference. I am going to do the test and measure the corrosion of the steel. The result of the test of the sample, and then we did the cover meter inspection. We used the equipment to find the position of steel which is embedded into the concrete. Firstly, I used rotary hammer to drill the hole on the concrete surface because I need to install anchor bolt. Next, use plumber to pump the dust outside through the hole. Then use vacuum cleaners to extract the dust. Next, use the trot wrench to install the expansion anchor bolt. It's crackling. After installing the anchor bolt, I to test the, the pull out test to pull out install anchor bolt. Also, we can know that the material which material can filter first. I'm going to attend firmer class. In the training, our tutor requires us to do the task. He requires us to do the timber firmer according to this worksheet. Firstly, we use saw bed to cut large timber panel in the certain size. Next, we use saw to cut timber straight by hand. Then we grasp the cut timber because it must be smooth that can be easy to connect the timber together. Then we ensure the strength of firmer because we will use nail to connect timber straight and panel together. It's finished. On the first day, we go to the steel web website and learn more about it. After the lesson, we went to the laboratory to do the exercise. It's dry penetration test. During the test, So the cracking on the steel paint. In the afternoon, our group has to install the steel support to steel frame according to the worksheet. We decide the length of the steel support. Use the hydraulic saw machine to cut the steel. Make the position which is being broad. Drill the hole by drilling machine. Drill the hole by drilling machine too. Then use the bolt to tie the steel fin and steel support, and then it's finished. On the next day, I attend a break lesson. It's a break. Our tutor demonstrate how to construct the wall by break. Our tutor clean the desk. He stretch the level of the stairs. Our tutor used the link box to mark the position which the bricks will lay out. Place the motor and block near the leg line. Place the brick on the motor. 
Feel the motor on the gate of break and then finish. This and other tasks our tutor demonstrate the pastoring. Our tutor used tools to know the thickness of the motor. He split the motor and split all uniformly. It's finished. This is another task. Our tutor demonstrate how to install tile on the wall. Use the timber strip and start it by motor and tiles. Mark the central line by legs because it makes the position of tiles. Three motor on the wall. Lay the tiles on the wall. Make sure the make sure the length to consider the size of the tile is needed. Cut the tiles to certain size we need by tiles cutter and then finish. This is another task our tutor demonstrate how to install tile on the ground, mixing the motor. Level the motor and spread out the motor. Add the cement on the motor. Put the four foreign tiles on the motor. Split the little motor, little motor and water on the tiles and then finish. The fifth day I attend the face work lesson is a favorite. It used to support form work. Its governing system it used to let people work on the high place. Then start to construct the scaffolding. To ensure the scaffolding can take a certain standard load, we have sure that it is in a level. Install the vertical support and base. Install the steel platform for our school member to stand in the platform. Install the steel ladder for us to go to the platform to work. We wear safety coat and work on the platform. It's finished. On the last two days, I attend the concrete course. The photo show us to do the exercise. We need to produce the concrete cubic. We are mixing material and use the material to form the concrete. The concrete cubic is formed. Then we use the compression test machine to test the compression strength of co concrete cubic. The concrete is filter. The concrete filter at 383.1 kN. We use the ice track formula to form the ice track concrete wall. This is another task. When we get the materials, we put the materials into a mixing machine. After we get the first concrete, we did the slum tap because we want to know the variability of the concrete which affects the strength of concrete. We will bring the concrete into ice track formwork. Then we insert the vibration rope into the concrete. The aim is that avoid the concrete to form the hemorrhage bomb due to the gas bubble into concrete. Another aim is combat the concrete. And then the ice track wall is finished. On first day, our tutor requires us to do the square shake of the steel bar in certain length and stretch. Firstly, we use cutter bar machine to cut the steel bar in certain length. We bend the steel bar to square shake. This our final product. This is the position we need to make the reinforcement beam. We were making the reinforcement beam. It's finished. The video is end. Thank you for your watching.